<laughs> what's going on people b5 here back at you nba live 19 you thought i forgot about it didn't you you said ah he's playing grand theft auto he's playing rainbow six he's playing uh wwe you know you thought i forgot about it nah nah man nah man it's just that there's a lot of games to be played a lot of games to be played and I'm just having fun. Whatever, whatever works out, works out. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get on this real quick because I wanted to. Uh, I just bring up a few things in the in the NBA. Let me let me get this let me get this matchup going here. There we go. Boom. You know what this is tonight? If you don't know what's going on tonight, this is the return of the Marcus Cousins. But before we get into that, real quick. Um, I just want to uh, I just want to say uh, a few things. If you haven't seen uh, my streams, my Grand Theft Auto streams, I'm on the grind, man. I'm trying to get my CEO status cemented. Uh, I'm rolling with this dude that uh, ooh, ooh. what are they gonna wear tonight? I, I don't know what they're wearing tonight. What are they wearing tonight? I think they wearing. I think they might be with the blues. They might have a blue. I don't know what they got tonight. I don't know. Okay, well, either way, either way, I like this. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get my CEO grind on. I'm rolling with this dude that I'm learning from the best right now. Let's get him out of here uh, and let's put in the Marcus Cousins. He make his, he's making his debut tonight, so he's gonna make his debut in here. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. So if you haven't seen those streams, man, go check them out, man. Just go in there. Check them out for about five minutes. I'm sure you're gonna probably watch it longer than five minutes. And uh, you know, <clears throat> let me know what's up. Okay, right quick. What is this? Yeah, I'm trying to sign in here. What's going on? Sign in. Yeah, you've been BSing with me, man. For some reason, I don't know what's going on with EA for my account. But uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so go check those out. Go check out those. Wait, why is that? No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's not one. Uh, yeah, go check out those uh, streams. Learning from a baller, all that. Also, um, let me make sure that these are safe. Also, WWE. I know some of y'all that's not your thing or whatever. Uh, but you know, hey, diversify yourself. Diversify yourself. You know, educate yourself in different areas. Don't just play basketball. Or don't just play football. And, and that's all you do. You know, diversify yourself. You know what I mean? Videos is videos. Uh, yeah, go check those out. And then uh, the Rainbow Six, I'm kind of backing off on. I haven't really got back on that just because it's like I said, there's too many games going on. But uh, yeah, let's talk real quick. Let's talk real quick. So anyway, yeah. Uh, oh, subscribe, do all that. Coming through. Appreciate it. There's a couple of new subscribers that have been coming through the streams. Thank you very much. Hands, hands together. Thank you very much. Um, first thing I want to talk about I want to talk about let's talk about the no media real quick Arena, let's talk about I'm the media oh, you know let me turn this down I know this is probably Williams pretty loud hold on unreal right now, this, on this dude has this been unreal um, let me turn this volume down because this volume is pretty loud because I remember I, I, I think that's good I think that's good but well, first, I want to talk about the media. Um, media is hype. Media can't wait for this game to, to go on. Right now, San Antonio's playing. I haven't seen much about San Antonio and what they've been about. Um, ooh, hey, hey, see, so this is what's going to happen. Hey, hey, that, that, hey, that's that's. Oh, come on, man. Hey, well, I, well, I, I guess that's Green. Green, Green would do that nowadays. His his, his skills have been pretty bad. Give it to Clavin. Give it to Clavin. Give it to Clavin. Ah, <laughs> hey, I'm into this game, man. Hey, live is good. If you don't, if you ain't playing live, man, you tripping. Well, that's like this. You're not tripping. You just, you're just limiting yourself if you're not playing live. But um, yeah, the media is excited about it. Um, I know that. Uh, ooh, look at that. Let me hit Demarcus. What are we gonna do with Demarcus? I don't even know what they're gonna do with Demarcus. Is this what they're gonna do with him? Is this what they're gonna do with him? Is that what they gonna do with him? <laughs> is that what they gonna do with Demarcus? Oh, if, hey, if that's what they do with Demarcus, it's a wrap. The Warriors, uh, Larry O'Brien, right now. 
You know what I mean? But anyway, um, let me get back. Oh, 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 hey, is that what DeMarcus is trying to do? <laughs> what is this? What's going on? What's up with my layups? Did they, did they do something with layups or something? They must have did something with the layups because my layups aren't going in. That's crazy. Um, dang, let me get back to this. See, I'm all into this game right here, man. I might not even get my words out. Hey, what, what, what's he be shooting from here? He, this is where you be shooting from. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, so he, I just wanted to heat check, you know? I just wanted to do a heat check. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so back at it, people don't know what's going on with DeMarcus and all this other stuff, man. They're excited. But more importantly, I just want to ask real quick. Hey, do you guys watch uh, uh, the Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless show? Or do you watch the Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman show? Or which one do you like better? Um, I personally like, uh, I, I, at first I like the Stephen A. Stephen A. With, uh, and Max. But now I'm starting, that, that, that Shannon Sharp situation is starting to grow on me a little bit. But I, but what really throws it over the top and the reason why I watch Shannon Sharp and, and Skip Bayless is because, um, Chris Boussard. Chris Boussard. I, I really like Chris Boussard, man. Oh, get that out of here. Get that out of here. I, I really like Chris Boussard. Um, oh, damn. I really like Chris Boussard. I am terrible with these dudes. Hey, these don't look, hey but the Warriors do look like this sometimes. Though. This, we might get them tonight. You never know. Um, I really like that Chris Boussard, dude. Uh, I think he's pretty honest and everything like that. Pretty straightforward. Hey, this game feels really good right now. I don't know if it's just because I've been away a little bit. Dang. Um, yeah, I really like it. Let me know if you guys, what you got, who you like, who you like. Okay, so we, 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 yeah, let me know. Well, these boys is running me right now. I think it's because I'm just spending more time with with the game. But, uh, hey, real quick, in my last uh, NBA video talking about Lonzo, I appreciate everyone with their opinions and everything. Um, I don't necessarily agree with everyone, but a lot of people made some really good points about Lonzo. I think he's, I think he's actually really, he's actually, there you go, there we go. I think he's actually a really good, um, you know, he's a player, but he's just so inconsistent. You don't know what's going to motivate him, man. I mean... But he could ball, man. I mean, some people calling him a bust in there. And I, and I can see why. But I think it might be a little too early. This is my opinion to be definitive about it. But, you know, some of you guys said, you know, at this point, you think he's a bust. Some of you guys just said straight up he's a bust. But, hey, but but if you think he's a bust, if you think he's a bust, then tell me what's up with that, that Chicago game the next day. Tell me what's up with, uh, you know, against, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Thunder. Tell me what's up with all that because you know I'm saying bus don't do that now you know a guy like Markel Markel Fultz unfortunately I don't know if it's injury or whatever the case may be but you know that's what that's what a bus do nothing you know like I'm almost I'm almost want to say uh, uh uh Trey uh what's his name Trey I forgot his name on the Atlanta Hawks I forgot his name but I almost want to like give him a little bit of that little bit of that heat. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, but yeah, it's all good. I mean, I, I, I respect everyone's opinion and I, I don't doubt that, you know, and somebody made re some really good points about his, his free throw, which is terrible. You know, for yeah, for a point guard, that's awful. That's awful stuff, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I also want to talk real quick um, about uh, uh, DeMarcus Cousins real quick. And then I then I want to talk real quick about uh, about Kyrie Irving. So I think that's that's really what prompted this whole thing. What do you think Demarcus is gonna do? I mean, by the time you see this, Demarcus might be already be playing. But I mean, I mean, but let's let's just say, okay, is Demarcus gonna be a piece in the Warriors where they gonna start like you know depending on him? Do you think that he's gonna be a piece where they just like all right? We just, you know, we just want to have something just in case, a little something for the playoffs, and then next year, not really worry about it. You know, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen with Demar? I think Demarcus is going to be real nice. I think if he, un I think he's, I think he's been w around the Warriors long enough to know that he's not going to be the top dog. He, I think he already knows that. I think he personally believes that, you know, 
He knows that he's just he's just there to be a contributor. He sees that you know everyone appreciates the the uh, the movement of the ball. Um, I, I think he I think he understands what is expected. I, mean that. I think he understands what's expected of him. So I don't think that attitude will be a problem, not at all. I think the, I think the biggest thing is, you know, how aggressive will he be? You know, ooh, give me that, dang. You know, how aggressive, ooh. You know, how aggressive will he be? You know, will he cater to that, that you know, not wanting to re-injure uh, his, you know, his, his, his ankle and all that? I mean, his uh, Achilles, you know what I'm saying? I think that's going to be the, the what is going to be the, the you know the big story because I think uh, I think he'll definitely uh, be okay attitude wise. Uh, man, I, I am garbage. I haven't played this in a while, but I guess maybe because I'm talking a little bit. But uh, yeah, so what, what, let me tell, know what y'all think because I, I like y'all. I like what you guys say. Y'all y'all bring up some good points. Y'all bring up some really good points and stuff. Um, all right, real quick, let's let's move on. Let's talk about Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie Irving, man. Um, you know, he wanted to do his own thing. Uh, he's doing his own thing, and it's like, it just he, now he's finding out like, okay, it's harder than what he really thought. Now, see, here's the funny thing is when. When he went down for injury, with the injury last year, um, you know, he, the, the, the Celtics just basically showed that they didn't really need him. And, you know, I think the front office really took notice of that. Um, you know, they didn't have Hayward, they didn't have him, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have any of these dudes to, uh, you know, any of the, the, the two people they signed, you know, in that trade. And they was like, man, you know, probably quiet is kept. They was like, we can, we can really do without this. And you know, who's to say whether or not they told the young dudes? And you know, you don't really know what's going on. But but I know one thing that's happening is is they all can't really. They're not all really. They're not all on board, man. You know, and Kyrie, Kyrie definitely, you know, he wants his touches. Um, he wants, <clears throat> he wants, uh, he wants to be the man, you know what I'm saying? He, his ego is, is pretty much up there because I mean, he looks, that's like this. I like Kobe a lot. Uh, I like Kobe a lot. You know, he's probably, I, you know, I, I, I might get in trouble with this, but uh, he's probably one of my favorite players of all time. I would say if I, if I had to pick one right now. It would be him, and I, I saw MJ play, you know, so I know what MJ is like. Um, I, I just didn't personally, I, I respect MJ, you know, all day, every day. I didn't see Russell and all them get down, um, you know. I, I love, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of good players, but just my personal favorite, I think, was Kobe Bryant. Um, but, and Kyrie Irving really likes Kobe, you know what I mean? Oh, is that what DeMarcus is going to do tonight? Um, so he's trying to basically have that, that Kobe mentality, but he's just not, he's just not there yet. In my opinion, you know, as far as in, I mean, Kyrie's dope, Kyrie's dope, but I think Max Kellerman brings up a great point. Kyrie is, is better than a four-star player, but he's not quite a five-star, you know what I'm saying? And a Kobe is a five-star player. You know what I'm saying? Kobe's a five-star player, and you can't look taunt. Yeah, taunt. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what Demarcus finna do. And Kobe's a five-star player, so I don't think he can yet yeah, do that. But anyway, what, what what are we really talking about? We're really talking about the fact that I think Kyrie understands that it takes a lot to become uh, uh, the man. And he knows that these other people don't really need him. He's trying to inject himself as being, um, solidifies himself as a Celtic. Unfortunately, I don't think that that's happening for him. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that that's happening for him. So I think he's getting frustrated with his situation. 
and he's like, you know what? I, I might need to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I might need to get away. Uh, let me let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and let me. Uh, ooh. Hey, that's what. Hey, see, that's what Demarcus is going to deliver right there. That's what Demarcus is going to. Hey, this is going to be nice. If this is a prediction, man, it's going to be crazy. Um, because it's seamless. The way I'm playing right now, you know, Demarcus seemed like a like like a like a normal piece. Ooh, nice. Demarcus might even do that. Ah, if he gets a, 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 if they play like this, it's over. But yeah, I think he's looked at his free agency. Uh, Kyrie's looking at his free agency and saying, what am I really going to do? Am I going to try to, you know, stick with these dudes? They might not really want me. Maybe he's getting, maybe he's getting the vibe from the front office that they might they he might be a dealt piece and so he's like okay well to keep the upper hand you know i might have to make some oh yeah i saw that he, he's probably figuring i have to make some moves so what does he do he pulls that stunt i call the bronze i call the bronze you know i tell him that you was right bro you was right you know and that right there is like paving that road back to you know, what's funny is once i heard that i knew Oh, let's see if I can get Clay's dunk. I was trying to get Clay's dunk in there. Um, you know, and if, uh, you know, if he's doing that, he's trying to pave his road back with LeBron, which, you know, I'm sure LeBron at this point in time, you know, he don't really have a lot of options. You know, he might, he might have to fool with Kyrie, but I don't really, you know, I don't know if he really likes Kyrie or if, it, you know, if it's beef or whatever, or if everything's all good after that. So I don't know, man, it, it's going to be interesting, but. But if he did become a Laker, Kyrie definitely would be a needed piece in L.A. Definitely would be a needed piece in L.A. Because you know why? Because he can get touches in L.A. Because nobody's there really stepping up. He definitely would be LeBron's Robin, uh, you know. And uh, he definitely would be able to put that. Ooh, look at that foul. Man, this game is, this game is fun, man. This game is fun. Um, he definitely would be that Robin. He'll definitely get touches. Um, he knows that Lonzo Ball, if Lonzo Ball sticks around, Lonzo's going to feed him. You know what I'm saying? Lonzo, Lonzo likes to put things on plates. Whether y'all like it or not, Lonzo loves it. That's the first thing he wants to do. Is he wants to be a waiter. That's, that's all Lonzo wants to do in life is just be an NBA waiter. You know what I mean? Um, he don't necessarily need to eat. He just wants to serve. And I think Kyrie's thinking about it. He's like, oh, well, I could be close to Kobe at any time. Oh, man, the L.A. Lakers look really nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's probably like, L.A. Lakers look really nice. I'll be next to my idol. You know, like, you know, I can get a chip. I can, And then, you know, back to the Lakers-Celtics rivalry. You know, I can show these young boys. They should have listened to me. You know, you know, I mean, there's so many things that could, that could happen in Kyrie's favor by going to L.A. So... I, I personally, uh, I personally think that that's what's that's what's on the horizon for Kyrie. He's he's setting the table so that possibly the Lakers might be interested in him because again, you know, he made that announcement or whatever. He but he did say if y'all will have me, so that's a back out right there. That's a back out to say that you know maybe uh you know maybe he could just say hey you know I didn't feel like you know the organization really wanted me moving forward. Blah 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 blah. So, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of wiggle room for, for this. So I think he's personally backing out. I think he's backing out and he's like leaving his options open, which is smart. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see him. I don't know if, I don't know if I personally want to see him back with Bron, but, but I think it, I, it, it makes sense. Ooh, get that out of here. Get that out of here. Um, ooh, return, return. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't personally, yeah, but I, uh, what else is he going to really do? Because there's a lot of kids, there's a lot of guys in, uh, in, in, the, uh, selfish dog nation that's trying to eat right now. So I don't know. And it stunts, and that's the thing. It stunts the growth. It stunts the growth. Look at DeMarcus. It's a lot of those players. So if, if Kyrie stays, he could smother them, you know, he could be smothering their uh, their success. He could be, I mean, it's, it's definitely a possibility. You know what I mean? So, 
I don't know, man. Like, they, they, they you know, what, what does this one guy say? The, uh, the embarrassment of riches or something like that. And and there's so many, uh, you know, so much talent in in, uh, in Celtics, uh, you know, Boston. Dang. So many, you know, so much talent in, in, uh, in Boston that, you know, they might have to give up some. They might have to give it. You know, their cup is running over, you know what I mean? And it's... Uh, you know, and it might be a good thing. It might be a good thing because, you know, Rozier, Jalen, you know, all them trying, they trying to eat, man, and they can't necessarily do it. Now, here's the one thing. I'm going to say this real quick and I'm going to get up out of here. Um, now, you notice Kyrie, if you've been paying attention, after he did that, he had an 18 point assist game. He played straight up, you know, he sacrificed, he sacrificed his, his uh, offense you know, to try to feed the other dudes. Cause he, I think he personally knew that that could be taken that, that his little apologize LeBron speech, and, you know, and, and the media, you know, wasn't taken very well. You know, I think he's putting himself on an island, exile island with his boys. And I think that was his way of just saying, oh no, no, I can, you know, I could feed y'all. And you know what? That's what he should be. If he's really trying to win a chip, he shouldn't, it shouldn't matter. We already know Kyrie, and that's what Westbrook should be doing. West, Westbrook shouldn't even, he should just be feeding dudes. Cause he draw, he commands, we don't, we're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about Westbrook right now. But Kyrie, that's what he needs to do. He needs to just break records with assists. You know he can finish, we know that. It's not a given, we know he's a clutch. We know he can take the game over. But he should save that save that when it's needed that's what a leader does a leader does whatever it takes oh 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 look at his ankle look at his ankles ankles looking good he put his ankle in the air ah uh, the bark is look at he already got eight points that boy is beast uh, but that's what a leader does man a leader basically um you know just does whatever needs to be done and you know helps the team out so I don't know, man, but it, but either way, I, I think uh, I think Kyrie's definitely leaving uh, leaving room on the table so that he could uh, you know he can he can he can go up and go to L.A. if he had to. You know, if he had to go to L.A., he can go to L.A. But let me know what you guys think down there. You know, I asked you guys a few questions. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish this game. See if I can win this game. Speaking of the game, I'm going to try to get off before uh, the real game starts. And I'm out, man.